Tonight on Adjuster TV News, the National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters holds its 84th annual conference in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Details on tonight's show. The team at Adjuster Pro explains the process for getting a New York license, if it's worth it, and is it really that hard? Also, what to do if you have a felony on your record and you want to get your adjuster license. How one IA firm helps you keep your licenses so that you can work uninterrupted. Is drone tech finally ready to take our jobs? The president and CEO of Hague Global weighs in. Yes, that Hague. A demonstration of a new scoping checklist inspired by a veteran adjusting school. A special preview of the newest adjuster training at Adjuster TV Plus and the current state of the tropics with your independent adjuster weather with Max Olson. But first, it's time for the NACA Minute. Summer may be winding down and hurricane season is heating up, but that doesn't mean that January won't be here faster than you can say subrogation. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or you've been a claims professional for decades, you must network. There are more than a few conferences and conventions every year, but none compares to the NACA convention every January for its depth and breadth of networking potential. Sure, you can and absolutely will meet people at pretty much any conference, training, or function that you attend, but what makes the NACA event unique is that you can schedule short meetings, aka job interviews, with every firm that's attending, which means all of the major firms and most of the smaller but just as important firms. Compared to jet setting all over the country, all year attending events, it's a steal at twice the price. Claim Professionals Liability, we've been attending NACA really from the start. Well, I'm starting out, so I'm interested in any avenue. Uh, we've been coming to NACA uh, for as long as I've been at IAS, but this, this history goes back uh, over a decade. NACA seems to be a great place not only for my company to meet fellow adjusters that might be looking for cat loss work or might even be looking for work in Montana or Wyoming. Uh, it's also a great resource for me to build clients. I'm like everybody else, I just need to go to work. <laughs> we love coming to NACA because it's really an opportunity to see some old colleagues and old friends, um, but it's also nice because you see a lot of people that are new to the industry. IS is here at NACA because we believe in the mission of this organization. Uh, my first time, new adjuster. I attended NACA because Matt begged me to over and over and over and said this is the place to come if you want to meet people in person and let them get to know you, which in our industry we know it's not about who you know, it's about who you're getting to know. So NACA is great for that. This is the first year we've been to NACA. We decided to, we wanted to come and kind of be able to do something we haven't done all year. We haven't been able to see people face to face and get to know a lot of these new adjusters. That's what the best part about NACA I think has been for us. The only way that we succeed as an IA firm, if we're finding those adjusters who aspire to, to deliver great service, we can develop them. To, to be the right partners with our with our carriers. Just watching the Adjuster TV and how important it was to do the networking side, it seemed like it would be a win-win a, a to go into one place and hit 20, 30, 40 diff good connections rather than trying to do that through the phone or showing up at somebody's office around the country. For discounts on lodging, gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, join NACA right now at nacatadj.org. And don't forget, the convention is an outstanding place to network and one of the best places to interview with dozens and dozens of IA firms all in one place. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list, subscribe now. Hit the bell and all the things. Believe it or not, doing that really helps Adjuster TV grow so that we can keep putting out better and better videos for you. Adjuster TV is brought to you by the best claim solutions, Paysetter Claim Service, ENO Provider Kaplik, Hague Education, use coupon code Adjuster TV at checkout, US Tape 
Again, use coupon code ADJUSTYOURTV at checkout for a discount. And now our newest sponsor, Ebro Claim Service. Thank you to all of our sponsors and everybody who watches and supports Adjuster TV. We could not do this without you. As an independent adjuster, do you feel like you only have bad, expensive choices for health insurance plans? And when you have to use the insurance, you'll have to pay a lot out of pocket? Makes you wonder why you even have insurance in the first place. The stakes are high. Having no coverage puts you and your family at risk. It doesn't have to be this way. You want peace of mind with common sense health coverage you can count on that doesn't include things you don't need. You need real insurance with world-class protection from established carriers, not health sharing and not cobbled together prepaid medical. And you shouldn't have to wait for it. Get approved in days, not weeks. There is no risk and no cost to see if you qualify for these high quality plans. Not everybody will qualify but you've got nothing to lose by getting a free consultation. Visit adjustertv.com slash health for more information and to apply. This is Adjuster TV. You ever feel like you've been thrown to the wolves by the IA firms you work for, like you're just a number on a roster? Wouldn't it be nice to work with a firm who's big enough to get plenty of work, but still small enough to know you by your first name? Then let me tell you about my friends at the Oklahoma-based IA firm, Paysetter Claim Service. Founded in 1997, the thing that sets Paysetter apart is their relentless pursuit of excellence. They hold themselves and their team of adjusters to a higher standard of quality. And now with their advanced all-in-one claims platform called Evo, You'll get a real-time Uber-style map and communication link to the insured, automatic messages sent to customers throughout the process, file review automation, and a fast, accurate scope with Paysetter's partnership with Hover. Hover is integrated directly into Evo, making for a smooth and seamless field scoping experience for you as the adjuster. Technology is moving faster than ever, and Paysetter is right there at the cutting edge. And Paysetter is bringing training to a city near you. Check out their summer tour dates at adjustertv.com slash Paysetter. The National Association of Independent Insurance Adjusters holds its 84th annual conference in Hilton Head, South Carolina on September 13th through the 16th. There's still time to register. This is an outstanding opportunity to network with the most important folks in the industry. You never know who you might run into at an event like this. People like, oh, I don't know, me and Max Olson for one? That's right, Adjuster TV will be covering the NAIIA conference. So grab your clubs and your cocktails and meet us in South Carolina, September 13th through the 19th. No, but seriously, this is a popular and heavily attended industry event, and every IA firm that I know of is going to be there. Head on over to NAIIA.com to get registered for this major independent insurance industry event. Coming up, Adjuster Pro talks about the vaunted New York license, and later, we talk drone tech and if we all need to dust off our resumes and find another career. Being a claim adjuster can be a rewarding experience, helping people during a time of need. However, that experience can quickly turn in the form of claims or lawsuits made against you. Facing a lawsuit can be a terrifying and stressful experience, jeopardizing years of hard work and success. If you don't have adequate insurance coverage, you are putting yourself at great financial risk. Don't stand alone. Let Kaplik stand with you. At Kaplik, we provide financial security and peace of mind through our insurance products designed specifically for the independent claim adjuster. What makes Kaplik unique is our industry-leading expertise in providing guidance, risk management, and support to reduce your risk, protect your reputation, and maintain client relationships. Unlike other insurance providers, our coverage is straightforward and easy to understand, tailored exclusively for claim adjusters and insurance service firms. Our in-house expertise and experienced staff understand the nuances of the adjusting industry a difference you'll feel and understand from the moment you contact us. After all, Kaplik was founded and continues to be run by independent adjusters, just like you. We handle everything so you don't have to. From individual adjusters to national leaders, Kaplik is there for you. With Kaplik, you're not just a policyholder, you're an owner. Kaplik is member owned and member run, which means that you get a say in how we best serve you. If you make your living as an independent claim adjuster, stop paying for generic or inadequate coverage that may not fully protect you. Join the Kaplik family for a personalized experience. Premiums start at surprisingly affordable prices for all of the coverage you need. 
For a fast quote, apply online now at www.cplic.net slash apply. I visited with the team at Adjuster Pro a few weeks ago at their HQ in Phoenix, and we covered a lot of ground. But one thing that adjusters are always asking me about is the New York license. I think you should get it, but is it really that hard? And honestly, is it really worth it? Mark Richardson gives us the skinny on the New York license. It's commonly thought that the New York license is particularly hard to get. This has some truth to it, but maybe isn't as difficult as it first seems. Um, like most other states, there's a course you can take, not required, but will help you pass the exam. The exam is one of the more difficult, um, which I do think lends itself to that uh, legend of the difficulty for the New York exam or the New York license, excuse me. The, the exam itself can be a bit difficult to pass, um, but once you pass the exam, uh, the steps are fairly similar to most other states. Um, you need to get uh, apply for the license, you need to get fingerprinted. Um, one additional step that is a little bit unusual is you do need to get a $1,000 surety bond, uh, which, unlike its name, will only run you about $80 to $100. The application itself is a little bit longer than most as well. There's a step requiring five letters of character reference, um, that involved um, one, of the, one of the things that might make you spend a little bit more time working through the New York application versus other states. At the end of the day, a few additional hoops to jump through, uh, but definitely nothing prohibitive. Um, not substantially longer. We have heard case studies of it taking uh, maybe a, a couple weeks uh, longer than some of the other states, um, but plenty of people seem to get it back in about a two week time frame, time frame. I'm sure partially due to these added steps and probably even more so because of the um, added legend of how hard it is to get. Um, there is often a, a distinct lack of New York adjusters, uh, making it one of the quickest ways to get a deployment opportunity. Um, once you have that license, you're in a sort of a select group, um, and there's just going to be lots of opportunities available to you, um, you know, with that license that most people just don't take the time or the effort to get. Next, Jesse Gibson talks about felonies and misdemeanors. Part of the background check is you're going to be asked if you have any felonies. Every state handles that a little bit differently. Some states actually will list out disqualifying periods for certain felonies. Some felonies will ban you for life, such as fraud. Other felonies will have disqualifying periods. After a certain amount of years, they won't count it against you for your license. Some states will list that on their website, but for the most part, it's a good idea to call the state and talk to them about your specific situation. Misdemeanors aren't usually counted against you when you're applying for your license, but that's another thing you might want to ask your Department of Insurance. You can call us at Adjuster Pro and ask us some questions about this, but most likely we're just going to direct you to the Department of Insurance because they're the best ones that are able to handle that information. So let's be real and honest here. You really cannot be a serious adjuster unless you've got at least one license. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now and get started on your home state or designated home state license. Adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro. And speaking of licenses, up next, the best claim solutions explains how they will help you start to finish and getting and keeping all of your licenses current and in good standing. Are you interested in more than just punching a clock and paying the bills? Wouldn't you rather be on the A-team surrounded by the best of the best in the industry? Then you need to check out Eberl Claim Service. For well over 30 years, Eberl's philosophy of treating adjusters as they wish to be treated has allowed them to establish a vast network of the most professional, educated, and dedicated adjusters in the industry. So at Eberl, you're in good company. If you're a motivated and compassionate adjuster slash claims professional, Eberl wants you to represent their organization. Go to jobs.eberls.com right now and get started with Eberl Claim Service. Here's Amber Bannister, VP of Compliance at The Best Claim Solutions, to explain how The Best Claim Solutions can help you get and keep your licenses current. So when adjusters come on and they don't have all of the licenses that they need for a specific assignment or um, deployment, what the compliance team does is they will reach out to the adjuster, they'll let them know what licenses they're lacking, we will assist them with the application process from start to finish. So every question that they're asked on the in insurance producer database, we will ask them those questions, we'll get all that information, and we'll take it from start to finish for them. If the Department of Insurance needs any additional information, we will obtain that from them as well. We'll provide that to the Department of Insurance, and we track the process from start to finish. Once the license becomes active, we will let the adjuster know, we let the client know, and then from there we start tracking it for renewal process as well. 
So as soon as it becomes active, it's in our system and we're tracking it and watching the renewal. We also offer the payroll deductions for this as well. So if somebody needs to get 10 licenses for their upcoming assignment, we will offer them the payroll deduction for this so they're not hit with that um, right when they start working. So we will run into adjuster situations where a Department of Insurance is telling us, nope, this, this adjuster cannot obtain this license because of X, Y, and Z. From there, we really like to take it hands-on and find out why. Why are you denying them? Is this you know, something from the past? We kind of dig into the situation, get with the adjuster, gather all the information needed to make this license become active. All right, let's get you hooked up with the best claims. Go to adjustertv.com slash the best claims right now. Up next, the president and CEO of Hague Global, the outfit that brings you Hague Engineering and Hague Education, gives us his thoughts on whether current drone tech can be relied on to see hail damage on shingles. Are you new to the industry and wondering how you can get started as an independent adjuster with little or no experience? I mean, how can you get any experience if you can't get any experience, right? It's a problem as old as time in any profession. While you may have heard of the IA firm and insurance recruiting specialists at the best IRS, the IRS stood for Insurance Recruiting Specialists. However, The Best recently did a complete rebrand that better reflects their company goals, changing their name to The Best Claims Solutions. Because there has been a considerable increase in task-driven solutions requested by The Best Claims' clients, adjusters can now get their foot in the door and gain experience with The Best Claims Solutions, The Best Inspect program. Not only that, but The Best Claims also offers continuous training to you, the adjuster, and their compliance department helps keep you current on your licenses so you'll never find yourself hitting the pause button on a deployment while you re-up your licenses. When you sign up for The Best Claims' roster, you'll be in contact with a dedicated recruiter who will learn more about your skills, experience, and areas of expertise. And once you're onboarded, anytime that there's an opening that fits your skill set, you'll get a call right away. At The Best Claims, their services are 100% completely free for candidates. Once you're on the roster, you'll have access to independent adjusting opportunities around the country so that you can select what's right for you. Get access to the totally free top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment video guide over to adjustertv.com slash the best claim. Watch the top five tips for preparing for a hurricane deployment for free right now by going to adjustertv.com slash the best claims. This is Adjuster TV. All right, guys, so this one is one where the insured uh, stated that they had um, some water come into the, the kitchen during that last storm that they had a few days ago. So they had high winds and heavy rains, and so we're gonna take a look at the kitchen on this one. Gotcha, perfect. I think we found the source of the problem, or at least <laughs> the symptom. It, it of sure the source looks like we found the, the source. I would probably detach and reset these two lights. Again, I'm looking at 16 square foot of dryer. Yeah, yeah, half a sheet of dryer. Half a sheet. If we're diagramming and measuring this room on site, we want to be sure that we get all of the dimensions to give Xactimate what it needs to create a perfectly accurate estimate. If we were doing anything with the walls, we would want to have that exact measurement. In this case, hit the B key again, but instead of just clicking in one spot, we're going to click and drag out a three foot section just like this and drag it inside the room by one foot. And there you go. Seems like every day there's some new buzz about some new gadget, device, or intelligent software that's gonna to totally destroy our work as we know it. And almost every time, it's been a false alarm. But in recent years, there's been a couple of advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning that could make it so that not only could carriers pay hail claims without anybody looking at them, and drones that can see hail damage. Well, the president and CEO of Hague Global, which includes Hague Education and Hague Engineering, has a few things to say about whether that's really going to happen or not. Hi, my name's Justin Kessner. I'm the CEO of Hague Global, the president of our subsidiaries, including Hague Engineering. Hague was founded back in 1924. We're the country's oldest company that's focused on failure and damage analysis. So we have our flagship forensic engineering group, our construction consulting group, our education group with its one-of-a-kind phenomenal certification programs and other courses, research and testing, which has been doing ice ball impacting building envelope and other testing for over 50 years 
fire investigations, and we also have other specialty technical services, including GIS, laser scanning, drones, et cetera. Our core values are quality, integrity, employee growth, recognition, and development, and a service focus, not just on our customers, but also our communities and the industry as a whole through education, through testing, and other means of advancing knowledge. And that is a little bit about who we are. So let's talk a little bit about um, AI-powered drone-based uh, roof inspections. I've been involved in some cases and, and some research studies uh, for some of those companies, helped them with their R&D by, in effect, uh, ground truthing it, so to speak. So, you know, what is the drone picking up based on its 4K photography and, and really, I mean, really great photographs that they take and using their artificial intelligence uh, what are they picking up and calling as hail damage or even wind damage versus what are we finding when our trained uh, engineers go up on a roof and are inspecting for, for bruises, punctures, and other uh, actual hail damage. So what we've seen so far is that uh, the majority of the ones that we've studied overstate what the actual or potential hail damage is. So you need to be careful and uh, certainly if you're finding um, you know thousands of, of hail damage locations on a roof of uh, you know moderate size and you look at the weather data and, and we'll get into weather data in a minute but uh, you know you really still want to ground truth those in, unless it's obvious. If you're in a neighborhood and you, you've seen baseball hail go through there, um, like it has not too long ago, a couple miles from my house, and you just want to fly the drone to verify it without having to get on the roof, save yourself some time, yeah, great use, great use of it. But when you're getting on the fringes of where uh, the really large hail fell and um, you're, you're at or getting even below threshold sizes for what causes hail damage to, for example, asphalt shingles, then you really need to take these uh, drone reports with a grain of salt. And I highly recommend that you still go up on the roof, at least a portion of the roof, and, and verify what you're seeing is real. Because oftentimes, uh, for ones we've seen, and I've been retained as an expert in a case um, just like this, areas um, of just premature granule loss, pattern granule loss, even nail pops coming up through the roof, uh, scuff marks from you know, inspection and maintenance activities and all. Um, anything that doesn't look like a nice even shingle mat has the potential to be flagged as, as damage and they'll show up as, as circles, for example, in some of these reports. So again, you really need to have somebody on the roof to verify those as you're getting in the uh, fringes of these areas or, or where they're questionable because I've seen reports um, and compared them to photographs that uh, inspectors have actually taken on the roof and you're seeing areas like this big and, and it's pretty obvious that's just a pattern of granule loss. Uh, and, and other if you had an area that big that was caused by a, a single hail impact, you know, you'd expect the, the shingle to be punctured, not just bruised. And the inspectors weren't even finding it bruised. So there's still that human element that's needed. Um, I have no doubt that these these programs, um, the artificial intelligence will continue to get better and someday we very well could be there where you can have high, high confidence in what they're finding. What we've been seeing the last several years, we're not there yet. And by the way, Adjuster TV has nailed down a discount on just about everything that they sell at HagueEducation.com. This includes certifications like the Hague Certified Reviewer, and if you have enough experience, the Hague Certified Inspector Certifications, as well as most of their other courses and training and books and tools. And the ones you'll need are, of course, the metal roof and membrane gauge, which has a magnet in it so that you can show if a material is steel or not, and then, of course, the two shingle gauges. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout and snag your discount. Coming up, a downloadable interior scoping checklist that works like a macro on paper. And later, Max's complete adjuster weather. Everything you want to know as a working adjuster without the tight skirts and political commentary. Get long measurements with the best, most durable tapes for commercial and industrial use. That means you, adjuster, 
Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout for a discount on anything at USTAPE.com. All right, check this out. I got this idea from Guy Grand when we were shooting the latest training series on Adjuster TV Plus. Actually putting a macro on your scope sheet, kind of like a macro tick sheet. Here's a clip from that training to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Have you and I ever talked about actually creating a scope sheet? Uh, no, we have not, but I know that a lot of, um, there's a lot of companies, insurance companies that'll provide scope sheets for adjusters or IA firms. Mm -hmm. But some are good, some aren't. So, yeah. So. But one of the things when I created my, my first scope sheet, I realized, oh, when I get back and I got to remember drywall, what is it? Right, right. Right? And so what I did with my scope sheets is I use the category and selector code. Yeah. So like right here, if you look right here, it says contents, con room, right? Yeah. Con room yeah. plus, con room plus plus. So. All I have to do is literally circle my contents. I'm good. And then I go, what's my next item? I got to do my prep work. Mask, LF. Am I doing, do I have so much drywall I got to mask the floor? Mask, SF. Yeah. And I know exactly, and then I do ceiling. What did we say, 16 square foot, right? Yep. yep. I got 5H drywall, insulation, antimicrobial, seal it, paint the ceiling. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. So you've got the order of operations and then you've got the, the most common Xactimate codes that you're gonna, so all gonna you're use. Gonna, so you, your, your estimate is pretty much written by the time you're done with this, all you gotta do is transcribe that it, into Xactimate. It's a macro in disguise. <laughs> yeah, Right. exactly, yeah. It's a macro in disguise. Yeah. It takes literally a couple seconds. And then if, let's say we were doing this crown molding. Yeah. Right? I would say remove and replace crown and the very next line item would be paint or stain crown. Yeah. Just so it flows, right? Baseboard, replace baseboard, paint baseboard. Door, paint door. Yeah. Right? And, and on this one, said on this one I gotta remember what are the weird things. So I've got one light fixture and I gotta detach and reset two light fixtures, right? Yeah. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Right. I didn't want to directly copy his idea, so I created my own version that suits how I scope interiors. You can download this checklist by becoming a subscriber at adjustertvplus.com. A link to that specific training is in the description below. Once you've joined, you can then go to the resources tab and download the checklist and the other downloads associated with that particular training. By the way, the second half of that training is a complete Xactimate walkthrough of building that claim from scratch, including importing and labeling photos, moving through the admin tabs, four different ways to dimension that room, including how to build it in Sketch, all the line items from our scope, creating a macro from that room, diary entries, and attaching documents to the claim. We cover it all. Again, head over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member to not only download that interior scoping tick sheet, but to grab the macros and the updated complete X1 training. And there's so much more in there. After the break, get the full adjuster weather with Max Olson. These days, there are a growing number of remote work opportunities for independent adjusters. With scoper writer programs popping up all over the place, you can do photo and scope in the field, or you can just sit at home in your pajajays and write the estimates on what the scoper got when they were out in the field. And it doesn't matter where you live, as long as you have the internet, you can write claims as a desk adjuster. But you can't get that sweet gig without being licensed. So if you live in Nebraska, which doesn't require an adjuster to be licensed, you still have to have a New York license to write claims somebody scoped in New York. Makes sense? Of all the credentials you need as an adjuster, there really is none more important than your adjuster license, especially your first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else, including some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. So you need Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain your adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as an adjuster with resources for every licensing state, including dead simple CE packages. Adjuster Pro is the gold standard for adjuster licensing. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. 
And here's Max with the weather. Thanks, Matt. It's been a busy month weather-wise with hurricanes making landfall, fires still raging out in the west, and historic flooding in Tennessee. We'll start with our biggest story of the month, which was undoubtedly Hurricane Ida. Ida made landfall as a strong Category 4 hurricane in southern Louisiana. Adjuster TV went down to the Matthews, Louisiana area, where winds of up to 120 miles per hour tore apart the town. And this wasn't even the hardest hit area. Places further south like Golden Meadow and Grand Isle experienced the full wrath of the strong Category 4 force winds and storm surge. And that storm surge got up to at least 15 feet per our current observations. I actually deployed two surge probes. These are unmanned camera probes that capture the dangerous storm surge in areas that we do not want to stay. They are currently still down there right now and we're going to have to go back down to retrieve those sure to have some absolutely dramatic footage on those. But the story didn't just stop at the landfall point. Places further east felt the wrath of the storm as well, as that onshore flow on the eastern side of the hurricane brought storm surge and flooding to the southern Gulf Coast states like southern Alabama, southern Mississippi, and even New Orleans, Louisiana. Now the levees in New Orleans held for the most part. I did hear that they were overtopped in some places a little bit further west, but the main portion of New Orleans was safe from that storm surge, but they were not safe from those strong winds and torrential rain. At the peak of the storm, the majority of New Orleans was completely without power, and it has remained that way for the last several days. Crews are trying desperately to restore power to the majority of the city as we speak. Now, speaking of flooding, Hurricane Ida was not the only cause of that by a long shot. A few weeks earlier in Tennessee, a train of storms that just went one right after another continuously backbuilding dropped upwards of 17 inches in less than 24 hours in places like Waverly, Tennessee. This caused a massive torrent of water. It tore through the town, killing at least 21 people as of right now, and there are still numerous people missing. This was one of the most unprecedented flooding events in the United States in recent memory. And with all this moisture in the Midwest and Southern states, we go to the exact opposite of that as we go out West. Fires still raging. The most notorious one is now just south of Lake Tahoe. Evacuations for a majority of the Southern portion of town have been issued and the sites there are quite grim. A lot going on, a lot still to happen. We are still just getting to the peak of hurricane season, so we are not done by a long shot. Stay tuned here to Adjuster TV for the latest weather updates for adjusters. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Max. Don't forget that we send Max to the coast to get in the way of hurricanes and provide you on-scene reportage that lets you see the storm through the eyes of an adjuster. So stay tuned for breaking news on Adjuster TV as these hurricanes come in. And finally, here's a sneak peek of some of our video trainings coming up this fall only on Adjuster TV+. Plus. When we're talking about fire losses, we have to start with gear, right? It's important. Absolutely. Fires are dirty, you know, Absolutely. especially if you're if you're looking at a place that has significant damage. You can you're gonna get it all over your clothes, the soot. I mean, anything you just accidentally brush against your sh shirt sleeves and your shoes in particular is probably not a bad idea to, to bring along some like muck boots or some slip covers. Slip covers for sure. Coveralls. We've decided to go upstairs and kind of start in this room, which Correct. you know we're. Maybe we're thinking that the smoke was coming out of, from that direction and it kind of hit this, this side of the house first. But it just, in a logical sense, it makes sense for us to start here. How are we gonna start our scope? And what are we gonna put on our scope sheet for what we would do to this room? So what we do in this room is, this is upstairs bedroom, mm -hmm. right? So on my scope sheet, I would write upstairs bedroom. So yes, but so there's different kinds of water damage that we could find in a house, and it's based on kind of the source of the water. So if you could talk a little bit about, you know, what the differences are between the sources of water. Right, so, so they consider them to be categories, right? So the supply line to the sink breaks, and water gets out and gets onto the carpet, I can lift that carpet, replace the pad, put the carpet back down, clean the carpet, and I'm good. Um, clean water might land on the vinyl sheet goods, okay? I might be able to save that just by cleaning the floors. So if this was a sewer backup claim, obviously I have category three water that's touching this carpet, carpet padding, gone, antimicrobial on the floor, 
done. But if it touches this uh, baseboard here, right, you have to assume that underneath this baseboard, there's the bottom of this drywall. Yeah. Right? There might be a small gap. There might be a small gap. But if that sewer water touched this drywall, it has to be taken out. Yeah. When you first call an insured for the first time, or you got a big stack of them to call homeowners, that can be a little bit stressful. You right? think? Yeah, yeah. If you've never done it before, and there's, there's you know, you've got eight, six, eight, ten things that you need to like check off your little checklist, right? We talk about checklists. And the insured asks you left questions out of left field, or they, you know, it doesn't sound like they're getting it, or, they, or you're not explaining it right, right? So, like, when you first call a homeowner and you're going to set up an appointment, like, what's your spiel for that? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm I'm here to call, and I need you to. I'm coming to your house. I'll um, be there in 15 minutes. I'll be there in 15 minutes. No, I can't see you for three weeks. So, you know, that's just the way it is. Yeah. I'm busy. No, not really. Um, <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. This is a plastic piece that helps catch the runoff wet rainwater from uh, your windshield. And a lot of times these can get punctured or cracked. So I'm gonna check these two things real quick. And then I'm gonna move on to this first side panel here, which is the fender. And I'm gonna kind of go back here. I'm gonna use my lines, move back and forth. And I can see there's quite a few dents on this panel and there's a few oversized dents as well. The majority of the dents on this panel from what I'm seeing are quarter sized and I might even whip this out just to get a better view of kind of what I'm looking at and I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, at least five or six oversized dents. So I'm going to be riding left front fender, five to six oversized dents and as far as the main portion of the dents, I'm looking at probably about 31 to 50 quarter size dents. Get your hands on the finest adjuster ride along videos and trainings at adjustertvplus.com. Become an insider and subscribe now. Adjustertvplus.com. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Adjuster TV News. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.